I'm going to show you how to make apple pie. Um, so first we peel, core and slice the apples. Um, apples and pastry are both traditional foods for the festival of all souls and apple pie is one of my favorite things to bake. Um, it takes quite a long time but it's relatively easy um, and I've given you a recipe but really don't need a recipe. You can riff quite a lot on apple pie and it usually works out which I really appreciate. So you place the apples in the saucepan with the spices, the sugar and the vanilla and then cook them for about 10 minutes until the apples are soft but still holding their shape. Um, if you like a mushier apple pie filling, you can cook them for longer until they're really broken down, but I quite like the apple pieces to still be quite chunky, so I only cook them for 10 minutes. Then uh, drain off the apples and return the liquid to the heat until it's um, reduced by about half. It should be quite thick and syrupy. Once it's reduced, pour it back over the apples, mix it through and pop it in the fridge for at least a couple of hours. Um, but it can be made up to a couple of days really before you make um, before you make your pie. I made my filling the night before making my pie. And next we're gonna make the pastry. So cut the butter into small cubes and work into the flour using your fingertips. Um, everything needs to be quite cold to make short crust pastry. So if you don't like making pastry, you can buy it from the shops and that will be fine. But I actually really like the process of making pastry. I find it quite meditative and I often pray for people I'm baking for um, while I'm making it. So you want to um, just use your fingertips to rub the butter into the, into the flour. Um, you don't actually want to mix them together. What you're trying to do is make really small pieces of butter surrounded by flour. So um, they should be, it should still be quite separate. Eventually it will start to look like breadcrumbs. So it should hold its shape when you squeeze it, but break apart again really easily. At this point, add in the icing sugar, mix it through and make a well in the center. In a separate bowl, mix together um, eggs and milk, and then pour them into the well in the middle of your flour mixture. Use a table knife to bring it together into a rough dough and then turn it out onto your bench and start working it together. So you don't want to knead it too much. You want to work it as quickly as you can, um, just kind of squeezing it together rather than kneading it. Um, you don't want to stretch out the gluten like you do when you're making bread. You want to keep everything quite tight, but eventually it will come together into a nice smooth ball um, and that ball will pick up any pieces of pastry that are left on the bench. At that point, divide it into two uneven pieces and wrap each one in cling film. So I flatten it out a little bit, then place it in the cling film and wrap it quite loosely. Um, then using a rolling pin, roll it out a little bit just to fill the cling film. Then place it in the fridge for half an hour. After half an hour, roll it out between two pieces of baking paper until it's just larger than your baking dish. Uh, grease your baking dish and then transfer the pastry into it. Use a rolling pin to kind of help support it so the pastry doesn't bake. But this pastry is pretty flexible because of the, um, the sugar in it. Next, you want to press it all in, make sure there's no air bubbles, um, and then trim the excess off the edges. You probably want to leave an overhang of maybe one or two centimetres because the pastry will shrink back a little bit while it's cooking. Um, put it back in the fridge for um, another half hour and after it's rested, fill it with baking paper and um, baking beans and then blind bake it in the oven. Next, brush it with egg white. Um, and bake it again. So what the egg white does is it just protects the pastry from getting soggy when you add the apple filling. Um, I'm just putting some foil around the edges as well to stop the edges burning in the oven. Uh, next we want to take the larger piece of pastry and roll it out slightly wider um, than the pie dish and as long as you can get it and then cut it into strips to make a lattice. You don't need to use a ruler like I'm doing but I like getting them quite even and I'm not very good at judging that by eye. So I use a ruler just to make sure my, um, my strips for the lattice are quite even. 
in many parts of the world, the All Souls Festival is represented by flowers. Um, in the Philippines and South America, they use flowers in their All Souls Festivals for a, a bunch of reasons. Um, so I'm going to do some flowers on top of my lattice when I've finished. Um, typically, my phone stopped recording um, when I was doing the lattice so I couldn't show you how to do that so I'm just going to show you next to the pie what I did so lay all of the strips going vertically and then lift half of them every second one over halfway place the strip going horizontally and pull the vertical strips back over the top of it then repeat the process alternating which vertical strips you lift up um, until you have a lattice if you like a more open lattice, you can leave more space between your strips, but I quite like it to be pretty closed. Um, I love pastry, and this way you get more pastry, which is nice. Um, and it also means there's kind of less room for error. Um, if they're all next to each other, you don't have to worry about leaving an even gap. So here you can see I put a braid and some flowers and leaves and vines on the pie as well, just to decorate it a little bit for the festival. Pop it back in the fridge for an hour. And then we want to make an egg wash to make it nice and golden. So take your egg yolk, add a little bit of boiling water and mix it in. Then brush the egg wash over the pie evenly and bake it for um, 40 minutes. So you want to check it after about 20 minutes to make sure none of the, none of the pieces are burning. Um, if they're starting to brown a little bit too quickly, add a little bit of foil to those pieces. And then you're ready to eat your pie. Um, if you let it cool, you can get nice, neat, clean pieces of pie. But I'd prefer a warm, messy piece of pie any day to a clean, cold one. Um, so this one's a bit of a mess because it's the first one that I've taken out of a warm pie. But it was delicious. So there you go. That is some apple pie for our All Souls Festival.